What's up? It's your boy Trini. This is M. Good morning. Good morning. It is morning. We are in where we at Rio, Ochos, Rios, Jamaica. And we're gonna give like a little review how we feel about our stay here for a couple days. We stayed in a separate room, so we kind of got a parallel vacation going on. And we're gonna share our experience. It's my first time in Rio and the first time in a non-adults only, all-inclusive. Mine as well. And yeah. Not got... my first time at Rio, but at a non-adults only Rio. Not too excited about that. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna talk about our experience. It was it was I. Right. It was not the best. I ain't coming back. Definitely not coming back. This is gonna be on the ban list. Um, not worth the money. No. <laughs> Nor the value. No. Um. I think that's the same thing. Well, yeah, money value. I mean, if you got it, but I wouldn't. You could spend I our money spend better. I wouldn't spend it here. Right. There's better places to spend it. Well, you'll get better a lot of things. Especially if you don't got no kids. So maybe we ain't got no business being here. Maybe that's part of it. I mean, there's a lot of people here with no kids, but you know, when I travel, being that I don't have kids, I don't want to be around a bunch of kids. So. Feel the same way. Have some kids. <laughs> yeah, I spend my money to enjoy myself and I don't enjoy children. So. All children crying, like hopefully you guys can't hear in our background. Right. And you know, you're going at the bar and you're having kids pull up asking for fruit punch. <laughs> Why you got alcoholic beverages? <laughs> so, all right, before we get uh, off track, let's start with the list. So, we got some notes. See, I came prepared. We did some research for y'all. So, y'all ain't got to come no more. We got y'all covered. So, I would say, as far as the list goes, just start with check in. So start with That's check in. You give your experience, I give huh. mine. Go ahead. So I arrived before Jay did. And my check in process, although it was quick, was highly unsatisfactory. The girl that checked me in was kind of short with me. I mean, I checked in online, so it's not like she had to spend a lot of time, but she didn't really give detailed information. When she told me where my room was, she was just like pointing in random directions that she expected me to follow. When they put my nice gold wristband on, homegirl tells me it was $450 US if I lose it. I don't know what kind of drugs she thinks I take <laughs> or like why she thinks that I thought that that was a real thing, like, which is wild. They don't help you with your bags. Nah. So I had to roll my own suitcase all the way down to my room. I know his check-in was better and I had a friend meet me. Her check-in was better-ish, <laughs> but she's not here to talk about hers, so. Uh, tell them about um, the day pass. So my friend that came to check-in, she lives here. She is Jamaican, born and bred, still lives here. So I was inquiring about day passes. The girl told me they don't do day passes. So when I asked her, well, you know, she wanted to come and stay for a couple of days. How does that work? So she basically told me the price my friend would have to pay would depend on the room that I was staying in. And I'm like, I don't, I don't understand how that works because nobody said we were sharing a room, but either way, I'm sure there's other options for her to get a room herself. And at that point, she told me that she would have to book it herself through the app. So I'm like, fine, whatever. I pass the information, I go in the app, and what do I see? Huh? An option for day passes. So I'm like, 
<laughs> this girl's just giving out all types of whatever I feel like information. So how, much was, how much was the day pass? It doesn't give a price, so which was, is weird. But. I was told it was 120, mm. but you got a dip at six, and it may be a different price if you're local. Um, my check is a little bit smooth. I think I came early. Checking is at four. I, I think I got that at three. Uh, I got the same spill about the band, but mine was only 250. I was in threatened. They told my friend as well. <laughs> Mind you, he Trini, she Jamaican, I'm American. It's all love. It, well, no, I don't it's know. love from your end. I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't love from their end. Cause where the fuck she get 450 from? She want to make sure you don't lose it. Please. He's trying to emphasize, you know. To the American. To uh To scare, the American. To scare you straight. But anyway, yeah. I was told to And look how good she put it on. Okay. <laughs> she wants you to pay. <laughs> exactly. Carry on. So I was told 250. My check-in. The only thing I didn't like about it, I had to ask the young lady behind the counter, which she was also training, and there's two people watching her. But I had to constantly tell her, show me where such and such is. She was just like pointing. And I found that annoying because it's my first time at the location. So you pointed to things don't really help. I'm a guy, I don't mind moving my own luggage, but usually when I go all inclusives, you get a bellhop. You know, they take you to your room. They show you how the room works. Uh, Check-in was, was okay. You know, they keep your bags in front. I got something to eat before I finish here. I got an email saying your room is ready. So that... And I had to walk. The hotel's not that big, so you don't actually need like a jitney or some someone to like drive you to your spot. But it's a long walk, and I figured that even if they don't take it, the luggage with me, they could have me check in, and then someone just bring my luggage later. So that was kind of a off put kind of situation. Um, the welcome drink was wasn't good. I didn't get a welcome drink. She told me um, she didn't offer me one because I already had a drink. So, I don't know what, what business <laughs> or matter that was of hers. But, so so, yeah. so, you, so you, you already got your welcome drink? But it wasn't from the hotel. It was from my driver. All right. The red stripe? Yes. All right. All right. All right. All right let's move on. So the other thing was... <laughs> oh, shit. Shoot my business. No, no. The, up, the upgrade. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We got to talk about that. Yeah. So I paid for an ocean view. Upon checking, she's like, oh, we're going to upgrade your room for free. So I'm thinking I'm getting, you know, some, some fly shit. I go in my room and I see bushes <laughs> and palm trees and beach. That's the ocean. No, no, not water. Beach? Beach. If you keep looking out, you know, where the sky is, you can kind of... That's not what I paid for. So where was the upgrade? Well... What I, what I found was a little inconsistent was I paid for a garden view. And when I tell you, our rooms are right next to each other. <laughs> and then there's that. So I was also told I got to upgrade. So I got a garden junior suite, which I'm thinking, I'm going to show y'all in the B-roll. Thinking also it's something fly. And it was really not fly. Regular, smegula, honestly. Um, also, this idea that I got an upgrade was being... I guess sold to me and I wasn't buying it. I'm like, this is not an upgrade. A junior suite is never the top tier. It's junior, you know. Um, Mid level. I did get a king size bed. Huh. I thought I got a king size bed. I have two full size. I feel like together. I, I feel like they're queens. No, they're not queens. Those are smaller. Those, those are two. Smaller. Those two beds are bigger than my king bed. Together. But go ahead. There's two full size pushed together made separately okay so each one had its own fitted sheet flat sheet blanket pillow action so did you book a double everything. room no so you I got a single room with a king bed and they gave you a double bed put together double bed put together yeah and it was so bad that you can fall in between if you're not careful. Yeah, because they, they move, they separate, because it's two completely separate beds. So it's not stationary. At so, all. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what's next? The outlets in my room were shoddy. There's a, one, there's only three outlets. As someone who has lots right. of electronics, that was annoying. They did have two USBs on one of the nightstands. 
And on the other nightstand, there's one plug. One plug, and mine was broke. And then the next plug is by the coffee maker. That outlet was broke in my room as well. And then the third is in the bathroom. I don't know who wants to charge devices in the bathroom, but those are your only options. We, we had to do it. <clears throat> it's like you had to bring an extension cord. Yeah. My plug was a little slack. If you have like a brick, it's, yeah. it's, it's going to fall right that out. That was the problem with mine. So I had to call them for them to come fix it. Did they fix it? They they did fix it. How long? Um, I went at night. And so it was fixed the next day. Within 24, less than 24 hours, it was fixed. I... Um, and if you have devices that use regular USB to charge, which most people Do. don't anymore. Well, the old ones. These are fast charge now. It's now. Due, now it's USB C, and I right. think they give you USB A B or yeah. whatever the old whatever USB the old is. USB is. That's your option for the USB outlet on the wall. So yeah, I thought they was I thought they was trying to be cool with it, but it ain't really no. functionality. Nah. And the Wi-Fi is trash. The Wi-Fi. It's, it's funny. The speed is about 100 megabits per second when it works. Right. This connection is not stable. Depending on where you're walking through the resort or on the beach, it's gonna go up it and goes down. out. Mine goes out completely. Once I leave out my room, my Wi-Fi shuts off until I get down to the first floor. Yeah, I think they're saying to you. It's not to sound personal because my, my Wi-Fi worked for the most, most part. My fire stick was working. My TV was working. And my TV <laughs> went out for like almost two days. Yeah, my... My, there my was a was couple right. power outages. Nah, several. Last last night, <laughs> did it go out last night? Yeah. It went out last night. Mine's went out this morning. And mind you, we're right next to each other, so she said hers didn't go out this morning. It, I think it might have. I think I dozed off. All right, so you know, when the power goes out, Wi-Fi goes out. And it takes maybe like, one, it wasn't out for too long. So maybe like 10 minutes max. But it takes about 15, 20 minutes for it to get back on track. So that, that was kind of a lot of rolling little power outages. So that kind of sucked. Yeah. What else you got on our list? Uh, the towel cards. I think that's kind of back in the day. Why we need towel cards, I don't know. That's kind of trash in my opinion. Oh, speaking of electricity, here's an electricity card. And I've never seen this in an all-inclusive. I have. Maybe in an Airbnb where, you know, you try to conserve, conserve, conserve energy. So. Now they give you two cards, which is cool. At least you got two, because some people give you one, and you got to use the same one to put the power on. I think the fridge probably stays on, but everything else goes off. So they give you two cards, so you got to keep that card. And they're both key cards, so you put that card to keep electricity on, and you have your other card with you. So if you had a bigger party, I don't know if they'll give you another additional card. I mean, each person should have their own card if they're not children. I don't see them giving us more than two. The way that they move, and I don't see. Well, you know, you got I, I hear you, but I don't. I don't be like, oh, okay, two people here, four cards. I don't see them doing that. No, I would think they would give three. Three? Okay. All right. What we got? I less? would. I would think, but who knows at the rate they move around here? So, so there's also what housekeeping? How you skip all of this? Housekeeping was fine. Housekeeping was all right. I'm not gonna complain about it. It was clean. My sink was shattered, but it didn't bother me. The glass thing was what it was, but majority of the place was clean when I did have housekeeping come through. Yeah, when housekeeping came through, I would say for me upon check-in, it wasn't satisfactory. Mm. So I had to ask someone to come. Like, it was some hair, like, on the nightstand, it was wrapped in the telephone cord. Ooh, it was stuff on the floor. I couldn't walk. That's why I asked if your floor clean. felt clean because I couldn't walk around with my shoes off when I first got here. Like oh, it was man. all types of stuff on my floor. It was gross. That's not clean. Man. I know, but when they came to clean, it was fine. Okay. And when they serviced my room after that, it was fine. I don't know what the hell they did before, but it was not okay. So. What else we got? Housekeeping. Yeah. Let's talk about the food. Huh. <laughs> <clears throat> so one of the reasons why people pay a lot for all-inclusives, they don't have to worry about food. Or drinks. So I would say food here. Go ahead. So I've been to Reuse before. Obviously they're all all-inclusive and they all have 
options of different restaurants on the site. But all the menus, in my opinion, were trash. They were very limited and you have to make reservations, which I'm used to doing, because again, I've stayed at All Inclusives and Reuse before. But I'm like, why would I even try to book when you have like three things on the menu? So me personally, I stayed at the buffet because I'm like, not my favorite. I typically don't do buffets, but I'm like, at least I'll be able to find something that I'll eat or something that tastes decent because I have more options. So I personally didn't bother with the restaurants what, until last, last night. Last night? And it was a buffet. <laughs> and it turned out to be a buffet. The one restaurant, the one other restaurant you didn't have to make a reservation for turned out to be some kind of Asian fusion buffet. The other thing with the restaurants is, um, at least at the buffet, they don't seat you. So you just walk in and you freestyle. You sit wherever you want. You get the food first. I thought you that was weird. First. And then you find a seat. And then you find a seat. Well, you can find a seat first, it, it's, but, but they don't. They the way don't they have it set up, the food's in the middle the food and the is, seat's at the side. The food as soon as you walk in. Right. And then the seats are positioned off to the side. So you'd have to go sit, wait for someone to come take your drink order, then get up. But if people is going to grab their food and go take a seat, I don't know if your seat going to be there. Right. Because we did have... <laughs> <laughs> so we went to get lunch one day. They have a like a second midday buffet when everything when is the main over. right when the main buffet is closed. And we put our bags down at the table, went to get food, and turn around and come back. And some lady just randomly sitting at the table with our bags, eating her food. And when we came to sit down, homegirl didn't move. She just looked at us like <laughs> like we in the wrong, like we in her seat. <laughs> and she was older, so you know. I, I try to be respectful of older but people. She ain't say nothing, so I ain't say I'm nothing. saying there are people walking around right. that work here and that no one stopped her. No one do any, anything. no type of directions, no type of order. It's kind of, I wouldn't say chaotic, but it's kind of a free for all. Like, it's just, it's you and your own. Yeah. It's highly unorganized. Speaking of people walking around, usually when you're all inclusive, there's people, you know, you're trying to get your all inclusive on. No one brought drinks for us, food for us like sitting on the the rest of the property like right now we're poolside if you're on the beach side there's nobody walking around to really offer us food and drinks whereas again at other reuse that i've been to and other all-inclusives they do that they'll come occasionally they'll pick up the drinks they'll ask you if you're okay would you like something else to drink there was none of that and we bought tip money right but I'm I don't not, think I used my tip money. I didn't either. And I didn't do it on purpose, but it's like, there's nothing to tip them I mean, to do. And the drinks themselves, as far as alcohol, even the regular drinks, I feel like it was pretty limited. I feel like there was more options at other places I've been to. I couldn't get mimosa for breakfast. No champagne. No, there's no... So there actually is champagne, but, but you, you have, have to, to buy, it. buy it. And from the front desk. And we did inquire about that, and we were told they didn't have any. And then, of course, I see people walking with a bucket of ice and two bottles of champagne. So when I asked them where they got it, they told me they had to purchase it at the front desk. So that's more misinformation that's given out because they could have just said, "You have to get it from the front desk." Like, you ain't, you don't gotta tell me you don't have it because clearly you do. Clearly. <laughs> Speaking of that, the mini bar was okay. I'm not a big drinker, but wait, first of all, drinks in general would taste artificial. Like I know yeah. they put the cheap stuff, but it tastes like candy, medicine. It tastes more like Tussin. T yeah, a lot of Tussin of some sort. Um, I usually drink the fruity drinks, the Miami Vices, the Pina Coladas. I ain't really indulge at all. I didn't really indulge either. I'm not a huge drinker, but I would say I drink more than Jay. Yes, yes. But, I I was drinking straight Johnny Walker with, with a little bit of Pepsi and I don't even drink soda ever. So that should tell you how how the drinks were. And then after a while I even just I gave up on that because I think we bought drinks from the supermarket yesterday. We did. <laughs> That's how bad he's got to go buy drinks. Right. Um shout out to 
Red Stripe Sorrow though. That was actually all right. That was all right. It, it grew, right. it grew on me. I right. might, I might try some more. I'm not really a beer drinker, but if you like beer, it's a bootleg carob shandy though. But you know, I've never had a carob shandy. Shout out to Trinidad. So. You know, they, they were supposed to do. Um, speaking of that, the what is it? The red, uh, the Johnny Walker red. Mm -hmm. So my mini bar didn't have a, a Johnny Walker red. So they bought it for me the next day. The mini bar is kind of okay. The fridge was well, I'll show y'all the video when I get a chance. The, the fridge was well stocked. We had ice water, a whole bunch of sodas. I don't really drink. They did have some there type of red seltzer, stripe. There was seltzer, there was red stripe, Presidente. Presidente? Mm. I don't know about Presidente. The same DR. Ryu is a Hispanic chain. That's correct. Chain, That's so. correct. But, um, and there was different kinds of sodas in there. Seltzer, plenty of water, bottled water in the room. Mm -hmm. so, and I they can't complain about the fridge because it actually got cold, it stayed right. cold, and it was nicely stocked. So, and they do restock the mini bar every two days, I think. Every two days, allegedly, they they ain't come restock mine, but I'm also not really using it, so I didn't really care that they didn't. Yeah, I just drank water. I didn't even drink any soda. I mainly drank water, and um, as far as the selection of beverages at the restaurant, you get beer or wine. Huh. The wine choices were limited. We were red and what well, she told red you? Red and white. <laughs> and I'm asking for names. Nobody knew the names. She did bring but it out for you, though. She did bring to see, so I'm not complaining right. about that. But And uh, the juice options. They had, what, pineapple, cranberry, apple juice. Wasn't good. Um, and even that wasn't, like... Wasn't the, the best. The cranberry juice I had before it was tasted like syrup. It was, like, thick. It was super sweet. The pineapple juice was watery. Mm. So I didn't try the apple juice, not a fan. So.